respect them and be separate. I don't care how funny they are or, or, or whatever they do. Whatever it is that you find out there appealing to be around those types. You need to cut that energetic field and you need to remove yourself physically from their presence if you are in a position to do so. And if not, like I said in a previous conference, you need to go have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all about your troubles. And then he can order your steps in another direction or order order this, the steps of decent people in, towards your life. Because there are decent people out there. Believe it or not, there are. I know I'm one. So I know there's somebody else out there that shares the same values and standards and statutes and ethics that I do. There are people out there that are true blues. There are people out there that are not two-faced, that are not backbiters, not backstabbers, not gossipers, not lie spreaders, not full of jealousy and envy and hate and copycatting out of jealousy. And the reason why I worded it like that, because there are a lot of people that may like your style and, and uh, may um, pick up your style, but they, they are admirers, and that's okay. But when something that does not like you tries to get you out of the picture, and then they start trying to look like you, okay, well, now we're talking about um, something psycho, like that movie, um, Single White Female. For those of you that have seen that movie, um, this girl had moved the girl into her apartment and the next thing she knew the girl had her hair cut was wearing clothes like her had had sex with the girl's um boyfriend or fiance or whatever he was and ended up trying to kill the girl so you got to be mindful of people like that you must understand there are some unstable people in this world rocky minded <laughs> i call it rocky mind they're off their rocker they are off their rocker and that's the reason why certain people can come around you or you can go around certain people and you pick up this weird energy off of them because they're crazy. They're crazy. Dusty. So you be careful of stuff like that. And not only that, mind the people that you see them affiliated with because I guarantee you they're just as crazy too. You know, because how can you be a sane, intelligent person of good moral values and, and sit up under a dusty um, loose cannon? Sit up under a dusty, something that has no sense. Something that's out there trying to get rid of somebody else so they can become them. That's crazy. Y'all, we live in a crazy world. I know I'm not telling you guys out there anything you don't know. I could tell you all some things, but I have to I, I have to say things for other conferences. But there are some nut cases out there. And uh, especially um, for you all that are, uh, and I'm going to close, if you're in the workplaces, and, and I know a lot of you, you're having to tolerate a lot. You must understand that as it pertains to the workplaces, uh, there are people from all walks of life in there. Some good, some bad, but you must go in there with a professional mind. And if you make some friends, that's good. And I think that energetically, uh, I'm hearing energetic pull. You know who to migrate toward and you know who to discard. And not, not necessarily even discard, but just avoid. There's a, there's a Bible scripture that says, enter not into the path of the wicked. So I think that we can take that scripture and apply it to every area of our lives. I'm not just specifically targeting the workplace, but it could be colleges. It could be out in society. It could be just you going about your daily activities. Don't enter into the path of the wicked. If you know there's a bad neighborhood, don't drive through it. Don't, don't ride through it. Don't jog through it. Don't walk through it. Go the other way, you know. That's, that's, that could be a word from Father. Don't go around the wicked if you can help it. I know sometimes it's unavoidable, but, you know, if you can, if it is within, if it is within your power to avoid negative people, wicked people, people that are just, they're violent, they just hate everybody, they hate themselves, they're jealous of everybody, or, you know, avoid. Avoid. Because they sleep not, except they have caused somebody to fall. God will judge them. But Father doesn't want you around those types of people. I feel like he values you higher. You're on a higher pedestal. They're not on a pedestal at all. They're in the, they're in the gutter. You're the one on the pedestal. You're the one that's royalty. So why enter to the path of peasants? Because just because you may have a peasant in your environment um, doesn't mean you have to deal with them. Just ignore them. And I know it can be difficult, but it's the type of world we live in. It's the type of world we live in. You have to train yourself to tune out that which does not benefit you and to tune into that which is beneficial. So I guess that's the word. And um, with that said, God bless you all until next time. I hope something that I've said has helped you. Okay?
Ignore the haters. Haters are going to do what they do. They're going to hate. Okay? Um, they're not even worth you all addressing. I know. I, the only time I address my haters is if I have a specific message I want to speak about or send to them directly. And a lot of times I, I don't even like doing that because um, they're not going to get any clout off of my name. I don't even know them. <laughs> no, I don't even know them. And they don't know me. And um, I also want to emphasize before I conclude this conference how important it is that um, I'm not telling you all what to do. Nobody has to do what I say. But I feel it's very important that you, move, uh, first of all, move in silence and keep your lives as private as humanly possible. Okay? So um, with that said, God bless you all until next time. And be mindful of the people that you all allow in your lives. If they are attached to your enemies in any way, shape, or form, even one, get rid of them. God bless you all until next time.